everyone, I'm Julia Willingham and I work with Catoosa County Extension and today we're going to be talking about aphids on the bug plug. Here's a short video just for you, all about bugs and what they do with Julia. As an entomologist, I think aphids are adorable. They're so small, they have little round pear-shaped bodies and they're so cute. As a gardener, however, aphids can be a very serious pest and can be very abundant in your garden. In Georgia, we have a variety of aphids. Um, all aphids, though, are very small. They're about one-sixth of an inch is their largest to about one-sixteenth of an inch. And their young look like adults and are even smaller. So aphids can come in a variety of colors. They can be green, black, red, orange, yellow. However, they all kind of look the same. One of the best identifiers of an aphid is their pear-shaped body. They have their antenna that they lay back on their back, as well as they have cornicles, or their two, what I like to call, tailpipes coming off their rear end. Some aphids have wings, but most are wingless. Aphids have a piercing, sucking mouth part that's called a stylet, which is kind of like a straw that they lay on the underside of their body and they'll use to pierce into newer plant growth and suck out plant juices. Because of the way aphids feed, they can often be a vector of diseases, which is one of the issues with aphids. They also secrete a sticky, sugary substance called honeydew. And honeydew can lead to the growth of a fungus called black sooty mold. But what makes these teeny tiny creatures so serious for your plants is how quickly their population can grow. So aphids, actually, one female produces asexually. That's right, she's producing clones of herself. So this female can produce five to six clones of herself every day. And it gets weirder because each of those clones actually is born pregnant. So in about a week's time, that cloned female will start reproducing as well. Not only that, they're born ready to start feeding on that plant. So you can see where one aphid can turn into a lot of aphids very quickly. Aphids like to feed on newer growth, especially on the underside of leaves. So something that happens is when an area gets too crowded with too many aphids, the female will, will produce a clone that has wings on it. Because most aphids are wingless. And those winged clones will move or migrate to a different plant to start feeding. Male aphids are really only produced towards the end of the season or towards the winter time to when they will mate with a female and create eggs and that is how the aphid will overwinter. Some might call this the battle of the clones with your plants. So the good news is is that aphids do have a lot of natural predators and the main two predators include lady beetles and lacewing bugs. So if you do see those in your garden, keep those two predator species around. But also something interesting with aphids is they can actually make an alliance with ants. So an ant will protect the aphid and keep them safe and take care of the aphids. And in return, the ants get to eat that lovely honeydew that the aphids secrete. Because aphids are so small, it can be sometimes hard to manage for aphids. Fortunately, um, just a few aphids don't cause a significant amount of damage on your plants. Some things that can be a result of aphid damage is yellowing of plant tissue, curling up of leaves, and then also a vectoring disease because of the way that they are feeding. A good thing to do because an aphid population, as we've talked about, can explode very quickly. So it's a good idea to regularly check your plants for aphids. Aphids, again, like to eat on the newer plant growth, so it's good to check on those newer budding parts of your plants and also the underside of your plant leaves. If you do have aphids on your plants, a good thing to do is to wipe those aphids away um, or knock them off with a watering hose. If you are checking your plants regularly, it should be pretty easy to manage their population before they explode. Using insecticides should be your last resorts for an aphid issue because those insecticides for aphids typically also affect those beneficial pests that might be helping your aphid population, um, such as ladybugs or lacewings. Um, and they also will help with other insect pests that you might not know about. 
So be on the lookout for these tiny cute creatures on your plants this summer so hopefully you won't have a battle of the clones on your hands. And that's all for now on The Bug Plague.